Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dabbing with a Mage. I'm your host, Episcopo Squirrel, also known as Alchemage. So, did a little bit different intro there, it's kind of throwing me off. But, uh, welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to speak a little bit about Ionic Silver as a, um, medicine, as, uh, as an antimicrobial. I hope you all are doing well today. Hope this video comes out well. This is, uh, my first video on my new phone. I've got one of the infamous governmental trackers. Uh, I've got an iPhone now. Uh, it was the best deal that I, that I could get. And uh, apparently it's built around having a really amazing camera. So we'll find out. But before we get to the core of our episode, let's get our minds right. Cheers. silver as an antimicrobial medicine. <coughs> so, let's begin with what is an antimicrobial. An antimicrobial is any compound or substance which has an effect on microbes that inhibits their ability to grow, to reproduce, to multiply, um, basically to live. It kills, uh, and in and, and plain terms, it kills microbes. It kills uh, microscopic bugs that you can't see. So, um, what is the benefit of this? Well, the benefit of an antimicrobial, as one would guess, is that it kills off path pathogens that gets get us sick. Um, pathogens are microbes, tiny bugs that we can't see, which cause illness in the body, um, cause dis-ease, cause the, the body to go out of balance and to act in ways that it shouldn't. For instance, there are viruses that give you diarrhea. That's not good. What's going on there is basically the uh, the virus is manipulating the way that your DNA is expressing itself and causing your um, intestines, intestinal lining to become more um, more porous to water, and so water leaks out into the uh, the intestines. And then you poop it out. Diarrhea. Um, and that's also why you become so dehydrated when you get illness um, like that has symptoms such as diarrhea. Um, <clears throat> it's because you are literally pushing all the water out of your body. And the virus is literally using its code to cause your body to act this way. So... That's the benefit of an antimicrobial, is the fact that it kills these little fuckers that cause us to fucking shit our pants. So, that's cool. So, moving on. Ionic silver acts as an antimicrobial. Well, what is ionic silver? First, 
an ion is any particle which has a charge, either positive or negative. <clears throat> and uh, these charges come from the proton, the amount of protons or electrons that they have. If a particle has more protons than it does electrons, then it's going to have a positive charge. If a uh, particle has more electrons than it does mm. protons, excuse me, uh, if it has more electrons than it does protons, then it's, going, then it's going to have a negative charge. Protons have a positive charge, uh, electrons have a negative charge. When a particle has a part of po positive charge, it's known as a cation. One way to remember this is that cats have paws. Paws, positive. Cat, paws, positive. Cation. And then a particle that has a negative charge is known as an anion. And so, um, ionic silver is a cation. And it actually has a variable charge. It, um, it depends on um, different circumstances within the chemistry of um, the environment, basically, that the, the, the silver is found in and whether or not. So <clears throat> it either has a charge of positive 1 or a charge of positive 2. Uh, plus 2 is more rare um, from my understanding. I might, might have that backwards, but from my understanding, um, plus two, uh, or, or sil silver two, as it is known as, is um, more rare than silver one. Now, <clears throat> uh, there was a, a user in one of the discords, I think it was Earth Tribe Discord, um, who mentioned uh, ionic silver. And there is a device that was sent to them by another um, member of um, Steemit. I don't remember if they're part of Earth Tribe or TSU or Freedom Tribe. Um, really bad with names. Um, but um, this is what actually inspired this post is this individual bringing this up. And so... Uh, basically, they have these devices that have two silver rods, uh, pure silver rods, coming off of the um, this little device where you can hook up a charge, uh, a positive-negative charge to it. Um, and by applying this electric electrical charge while the silver rods are immersed in water, it causes the bond and the solid metal to break, to disassociate, and allow the metal to become its ionic form, suspended in the water as a solution. And so... Um, yeah, so you can use this as a, an antimicrobial. And the, way, the reason you can use this as an antimicrobial is because, the, um, because of the positive charge that silver possesses. Excuse me a moment ago, I kind of got lost in my thoughts. I uh, went on a whole other train of thought in my head. Um, but yeah, so silver possesses this positive charge. And a lot of pathogens, well, really a lot of microbes, because it's, it's not necessarily a selective um, antimicrobial. Most antimicrobials aren't very selective and just kind of take them all out. But that said, many uh, microbes possess a protective barrier which uh, possesses a pot or negative charge. And so when the positive charge of the, um, the silver ion, the silver cation, 
comes in contact with the negative charge of the protective coating of the microbe, it effectively neutralizes that coating, causing that microbe to die. So, yeah. Good stuff there. Um, something that I've been thinking about is, you know, there's colloidal silver as well. Colloidal silver is different than ionic silver. Ionic silver, as I said, has that, that positive charge to it. Colloidal silver doesn't necessarily have that positive charge to it. And this is because what colloidal silver is, is small clumps of silver which have bonded together in different geometric shapes. And this again has to do with the chemistry behind the actual <clears throat> um, silver and uh, the, um, the orbital fields that they possess, which allow them to create different geometry. So um, it doesn't necessarily have this, uh, this positive charge that is on the ionic form <clears throat> of silver. And another thing is that it's kind of a large, I don't want to say molecule, solid. It's a, it's a solid once a, uh, a metal becomes a solid, it is no longer known as a molecule. It's not, it's never known as a molecule. As soon as you have elemental, um, if you have the elemental uh, atom, then uh, once you have those atoms bound tightly together to create a, a solid, it's, it's known as a solid. It's known as elemental solid silver in this case. So <clears throat> these, this large, large, <laughs> now when I say large, I'm talking about uh, a molecular scale, so it's, it's not very big, you can't see it. Um, so um, this large molecule has uh, trouble passing through uh, and being absorbed into the body because of its size. So it kind of just passes right through in a lot of cases. Uh, it does uh, absorb in small amounts, but not as, uh, as much as ionic silver does. And so, um, from my understanding, you know, I haven't done any kind of experimental studies on this, but from my understanding, ionic silver is a more effective um, antimicrobial than colloidal silver is. Though colloidal silver will work because it also possesses uh, ionic um, silver in the solution as well, because not all of this, the silver is going to react with one another and cause uh, this formation of the geometric shapes. So, um, but then again, I also don't know if the silver, it, it just wouldn't, it, anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Now I'm kind of just rambling again. I do that really well at the end of my shows. Um, <laughs> thank you for sticking around. Um, the individual who mentioned the ion, uh, the ionic, ionic silver um, device that she was sent, or they were sent, I don't know if it's an, uh, a female or male. Um, but, uh... I'll link their their page down below because um, they too are going to be doing a post. I believe it's going to be a written post, so hopefully it's a good one. Looking forward, and uh, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any uh, experiences with this, um, and you know any kind of research to back this up that is saying this is wrong, um, you know, show me. I want to see. I want to see all the research. I want to see it all. So, cheers. Have a good day.
I gotta get a better light. <coughs> Thanks for joining me.